peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are here you're highly successful if you're like this we got a lot to talk about let's just whoa breathing in that good ass prana baby now a lot of people write to me saying that they're not happy where they are right now they want to become more successful and i'm thinking like why oh i get it i get it because we know that we're not even a fraction of what we can truly become we have infinite potential we all know that and we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello <laughs> So let me share with you what's helped me along my journey, what I've learned. You are highly successful when you give yourself your own personal definition of what success means to you. Slow motion this side. Shout out to you beautiful indigos out there. That's a success, right? In a world where everybody is trying to change you, you're like, I'm out of here. I'm just gonna go and chill in nature with a cat down the road and stuff. I'm gonna be free of all society's expectations. That is success, right? And you don't even know it. Well, maybe you do. You are highly successful when you stick to what you are good at. That is a trait of highly successful people. They're not trying to do everything. They are masters of their craft. And I learned this because along my early journey, I was trying to do this, I was trying to do that. Moldy tasking everywhere and doing everything badly. So sorry about that. Now, life is great. People always ask me, Ralph, how are you? You share so much. I will tell you this. I am fantastic. Life is beautiful. Why? Because I have created a high amount of abundance doing what I love. What could be better than that? And it's only because I stick to what I'm good at. I know that if I say, can I get a hello? <laughs> it gives people orgasms, I know. Look, <laughs> when you stick to what you are good at, you now learn new things. Has this ever happened to you? Like I grew up learning about special effects and I was just, practicing every single day and then I learned new things right okay if I press this button whoa that happened right they stick to what they are good at so ask yourself today what am I good at and how much am I practicing what I am good at every single day and then you will surely become even more successful at that. Don't try to do everything because trust me, you're just gonna, look, you just fell on your ass right now. You are highly successful when you are thankful. Did you say thank you today? No, I didn't, Ralph. Okay, I get it. I've realized this, that Many people who are ungrateful many times are very unsuccessful in many areas of their life. People who are highly successful are often more grateful because gratitude is linked to abundance. And when you are more abundant, Abundance comes from a place of appreciation in the first place. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. So there's lack, there's lack, which is 
being ungrateful and there's saying thank you for everything I have. I will tell you, the psychology shows that the happiest people in the world are the most grateful. And for me, being happy, that is the ultimate success, right? And obviously it's not just about being happy because we've got a whole load of other emotions which are equally as important. Yes, I know. It's good to cry, it's good to be sad and mad. Yes, ultimately it's about equilibrium, homeostasis. You are highly successful when you stop following the crowd and start doing your own thing, right? You're highly successful when, what happens when we meet the first hurdle in life? I've been making so many videos over the years and creating, I've had a whole load of obstacles, but still I rise because I don't give up on the first hurdle. I'm not like, oh my days, the first hurdle is it? Can I, can I, I can get over that easy. Sometimes I fall on my ass though. Look, I'm here to tell you, don't give up if it gets hard, because if you make it through the hard times, it will only get easier. Every day I realize my life is becoming easier. It's becoming more simple. Sophistication is key. Simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. Slow motion this side. Mm. Highly successful people know this, that in their minds, they know where they're going. Like I have a vision. I had a vision many years ago when I had the massive Afro in the garden saying, I just want to inspire millions of people. But at the same time, I realized there was no real destination because there is no real destination. But you got to have, you got to be on your own path, not everyone else's path. That's a great trait of highly successful people. Seven day vegan challenge. Everybody's making me hungry on Snapchat and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Highly successful people eat like athletes. That's right. They eat like they're going to the Olympics. <laughs> I see some people sharing food and stuff and I'm like, you going to the Olympics or something? That's what highly successful people do because you got to eat like you are every single day. I know it's hard sometimes, but what I love to do is go to the farmer's market. I'm buying the fruit, the veg, getting the right vitamins and minerals, the antioxidants, giving myself a head start. I'm eating like I am in the Olympics, right? I've got the pH 10 water, alkaline water. I've got the spirulina on deck complete source of protein. I've got the hemp powder, got the maca powder, got the acerola, got the acai. So I'm eating like an athlete, a plant-based athlete, a vegan athlete, right? And that's why I have so much strength and energy every single day, which actually helps me to attract a whole lot more. Slow motion this side. Mm. Eliminate problems. That's what highly successful people do. Don't make what you eat a problem for your body because you already got 99 problems. Don't make your food the hundredth one, right? So eat to live is so simple. Yet so many people follow that. And that's what I do. And that's why every day I'm just going from strength to strength, to strength, to strength. Yeah. You are highly successful if you stay humble. Do you think I'm humble? Anybody that asks you that is not humble. <laughs> humble confidence is everything. 
it's not just about being humble. Like I look at someone like Muhammad Ali who said, I'm the greatest. And he was the greatest. Nobody can deny that. Humble confidence is when you really believe in yourself enough, but at the same time, you don't have to brag how good you are. I look at people who are highly successful. Look at people like Bill Gates. Dressed in nothing fancy, same shoes, same suit. Because highly successful people, the psychology from the subconscious mind, it's not about what they're wearing. <laughs> same shirt. It's about the message they have and what they are contributing to the world. So it's not about, hey, look at me because I'm wearing this or I'm doing this. It's more about, okay, the results are speaking for themselves. I'm impacting people, millions, right? So many times when we talk of humility, it can really take you a long way. When you say, okay, I don't always need the spotlight on me because of me, but more so for what I'm doing, what I stand for, what I represent. I look at people like Bob Marley, who was already a millionaire when someone asked him, how much money do you have in your bank account, Bob? And he's like, what are you talking about? My riches lie in a world beyond this one. He was spiritually rich and financially at the time, but he didn't have to brag about it. That's humble confidence. Humble confidence is, yes, you wanna be confident. You wanna say, actually, I'm very successful. You wanna say these mantras like, rich forever, because all of these things, once again, they are reprogramming your subconscious mind to help you attract what you truly desire. You wanna say things like, I am health, I am wealth, I am the two most powerful words because whatever you put after that is what you will become. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. But sometimes we can all let it get to our heads, right? Highly successful people don't believe the hype. They stay grounded. Because once you are humble, you now take the pressure off now you can perform better. If you're gassing yourself, blowing your own, blowing your own trumpet, your own horn saying, I'm the best, I'm the best. Now you actually forget about creating anything, right? I'm always creating because I'm not resting on my laurels, right? In ancient Greece, first Olympics, if you won, you didn't get a medal, you got a laurel wreath. So when they say don't rest on your laurels, don't rest on what you did yesterday. Today's a new day. Show me what you got, baby. Right? Show me what you got. Staying humble is everything. Humility will take you a long way because once again, you don't want to show all your cards. Like a lot of people don't even know some of the stuff I can really do. You don't know, do you? Right? <laughs> you are highly successful highly successful when you are running your own race. Now, I know what it's like. Sometimes we are so competitive with each other. And I'm a Pisces, so naturally I'm not competitive. Like most Pisces can't be competitive if they tried. I'm in competition with myself. That's a trait of highly successful people because I realized there was a small period in my life when I was like, okay, actually, I'm getting a bit competitive right now because it's a dog eat dog world. Then I said, that, that really isn't me. No, it's not me. I say, I'm running my own race. I'm here to tell you today, once you start running your own race, forget about competing with other people, develop your own style, your own signature. What? can make you different from the rest. Your uniqueness, which is you. You don't even have to do anything. But what's happened in this society? So many people growing up, they've been told that's a thing to be. Ladies, get a body like her. Fellas, get a body like him. But what about your own natural body? 
What about your own natural style? Your when you come into your own, you will become highly successful. When you accept yourself 100%, you will be highly successful. Once you love yourself 100%, you will be highly successful. I've seen it along my journey. Now, <laughs> running your own race is everything. You are highly successful when you don't feel you've made it. That's right. Highly successful people never feel they have arrived anywhere because once again, they realize they're wise enough to realize there is no destination. Every day I'm improving on myself. I'm reading different books. I'm going into nature. I'm meeting amazing people. We're going back and forth, right? Talking about deep diving and octopuses down there and fishes over there and dolphins and stuff. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I never ever feel I've made it. People say, Ralph, gosh, you're so successful. I say, really? We ain't even had breakfast yet. I'm just being myself. And it feels great, but I don't feel there is a destination. I'm always improving because I realized that's what I came here to do on planet Earth is becoming ING your greatest version. We aren't finished. We are work in progress. Slow motion this side. The moment you feel you finished, then it's over for you. You might as well pack your bags and go home. So sorry about that. So I realized this, look, I've been making videos. I've learned so much about making videos over the years because I've made a lot of mistakes. Highly successful people also have a lot of failure. A lot of failures, they make a lot of mistakes. They sometimes feel like giving up. They're not perfect, but at the same time, they learn from their mistakes. They get up the next day, even if there are obstacles. Once again, those obstacles only make them stronger. And actually sometimes just leave them on their ass for an hour, an extra hour, unfortunately. Then they get back up and it's a happy ending. Whoops, you just fell again. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you are highly successful when you are working on yourself. That's what I've seen along my journey for me. Like, it's not about thinking you are a perfect being. There are no saints. I always say this. There are no saints on planet Earth, right? There are only people who are working on themselves every single day, myself included. I'm definitely not a saint. Ain't no saints around here. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad man. I'm a good guy. So I've realized this, that if you can work on yourself, working on yourself is a bit like this. Let's just say you feel you are so perfect with white robes and a crown on your head. And then maybe someone say something to you and you feel a certain way, right? They hit the, the table and the water has just flown out of the glass. So they've bought something out of you. Highly successful people will say, okay, why did I react like this? I thought I was perfect. Then they would work on themselves and say, actually, I'm not perfect. And there are still, I still have to heal certain emotional aspects of myself. I still have to heal emotionally. See, highly successful people have a high EQ, which is emotional intelligence. I've realized every single day I'm working on myself to become a better human being because I don't feel there is a pinnacle. I feel I've got so many improvements to make and that's why I am highly successful because I can always learn more. I can always do more. I can always give more. I can always share more and I can always do this more. 
can I get a hello? <laughs> You're highly successful if you are like this. If you are counting your blessings, right? Counting your blessings and not your problems, you are highly successful. You're highly successful when you focus on what is most important to you every single day. For me, that is having beautiful friendships, keeping the love connection alive, helping people, being of service to humanity in a positive way, friends and family. Those are traits of highly successful people. When you focus on what really matters, is it about the money? What is it really? What really matters most in life? Surely it's your personal happiness, but also making other people happy, friends and family, being there for them on special occasions, meeting great people, being in love, right? These are the things that matter the most, your children and the cat down the road. So highly successful people attribute value to things that matter the most to them. You are highly successful when you can lift up other people. Well, I just lifted you up right now, right? I just lifted you up. You're highly successful when you lift up other people. I've realized this and I've seen this along my journey. I look at highly successful people. I even look at myself and say, okay, I get it. Cause I'm helping people, I'm lifting them up. That's why more success comes my way. I see other people, they're doing the same thing. And then I see people who tear people down. They got nothing positive to say about anybody. They don't send out any good vibes and their life is like a mirror of that. Nothing much happening, right? And it's so easy to change. I'm asking you deep divers today, just pay someone a compliment. It's not that hard to do. Pay it forward. Random act of kindness. This is what highly successful people do because they know that through lifting up other people, guess what happens? They also lift up themselves. And now everybody is a winner because ultimately there is no competition. Now there is only cooperation and everybody wins. And once you realize that, you will just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? We are here. Much love, you beautiful deep divers. I am so grateful to you. Oh, yes. Let's just. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Getting high. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. You! <laughs>